I grew up in Bennington. I serve on the Board of Trustees for the Vermont State Employees Association, also on the Executive Committee for the Non-Management Unit, which has inspired me to want to serve um, my community. And I think it's really important people step up. I'm going to stick up for what I believe in. I've had to deal with a lot of different personalities and coming together every day in my job. You know, I have to listen to people, listen to what their needs are, and then work together as a team to, to meet those needs. So. Uh, what should the board's role be in addressing drug abuse and mental health treatment in Bennington? I think part of the problem is that there's not the mental health resources available that we need. And if, if we could have a treatment center in Bennington, I think that would be extremely helpful. Just about everybody in Bennington know somebody that is affected by opiate addiction. It's a chronic lifetime, it doesn't go away. So we can throw them in jail, but it's not gonna fix their problem. And it's limited, there's only so much that, you know, the doctors can do locally. I think we also need to continue with the public parks. I think we need more of them. I think Willow Park is amazing, and, I, and it's one of those things that if you, if a family is gonna relocate somewhere, they're going to look at what do the parks look like, is it walkable. We certainly need to work on the downtown, make it more aesthetic and appealing. So do you think affordable housing for young professionals is an issue here in Bennington? And if so, uh, what can the board do to improve the situation? There's a lot of apartments here that are subpar. You know, the, the windows are cracked and the, the, they don't hold in heat. You know, having lived in apartments, I know like how tough it can be to live in some of them. So maybe some you know, sort of incentive towards renters to update their property, to renovate. The possibility of merging the Bennington Fire Department and the Bennington Rural Fire Department has been discussed uh, recently. How should the board approach this issue? And I realize that money's tight and, and people want to consolidate and make things run more smoothly together and, and that makes sense to me. But on the other hand, I think that maybe you shouldn't try to fix something that's not broken. Uh, so should the board support the construction of the Southern Lake of Route 279, also known as the Bennington Bypass? It's really obvious um, to anybody who lives here that once the visitors, the welcoming center was finished, that there was nowhere for people to go from the welcoming center to downtown Bennington. I think that that's been extremely damaging, and so I think it's really imperative that we finish the Southern Lake. Uh, so what could the board be doing to encourage job growth? I think that, you know, I would certainly support um, businesses coming into Bennington that are going to pay a livable wage. Um, I would be much more inclined to support a Costco coming in that would pay a livable wage as opposed to expanding a Walmart that's not going to pay a livable wage and not going to have full time.